This is an overview of the FCC Technician Class Exam Review Practice. First, let's talk about the menu items at the top. Under Setup, you have a choice of turning sound on or off. And this is when you give your answers, whether you get a sound as to whether you are correct or incorrect. Under History, you can view history of previous tests that you have taken or clear previous history. I'll show you more about that later and you can click on about and see what version of the program you're running okay you have a choice of reviewing the elements of the uh, technician class or taking a test if you review the elements you will see all ten of the different sub elements that you are able to review you click on the one that you want to review and the questions begin to come up which of the following formats of a self-assigned indicator is acceptable when identifying using a phone transmission? You look at the uh, choices that are below and you pick the one that you feel is correct and click submit. And we got the sound because we have sound turned on. Click next. You get the next question that's in that sub-element. This goes through all 78 questions in that particular sub-element. You can press escape at any time to go back to the beginning. You can see that it will remember the last sub-element that you were working on and it will be highlighted in red. Press enter and it will pick that one back up again. Again, each one of these sub-elements that you are studying, the questions that are involved are randomly selected so that it will never be the same twice. Another thing to, to know about this is that you're able also to use the up and down arrows to select a sub-element. The one that's red, you press enter and it will bring up that sub-element's questions. In this case it will be 48 questions. This particular question has a drawing involved with it there you see the drawing what is component 2 in figure T1 component 2 happens to be a transistor so you want to close it and tell it B and then submit it okay next question so you step through the questions in the various sub elements by doing that press escape and we we'll go back to the beginning once you feel like you have all the sub elements down you can take a test in the technician class it's a 35 question test and it just begins going through the various test questions uh, you answer them the same way that you did during the uh, su the sub element practice which of the following is a purpose of the amateur radio service as stated in the FCC rules and regulations personal communications probably not uh, communications for international nonprofit probably not advancing skills in the technical and communication phases of the radio art I believe that's the right answer so you can click select C and click submit step right on through the next 34 questions and you will have completed a, an entire test one thing I might want to bring out here is that you do not have to use the mouse necessarily uh, you can use the keyboard uh, which instrument would you use to measure electrical potential or electromotive force? That's a voltmeter. You can press B and press enter and get the next question. Next. When should members of a tower work team wear a hard hat and safety glasses? I believe that would be C. At all times when any work is being done on the tower. Submit it. Correct. Next. And you can step through all the questions. I prefer using the keyboard instead of the mouse. It's a little quicker I think. Once you have submitted your last answer you will get a results button at the bottom. If you click that or press enter you'll see the results of the exam that you took. In this case sub-element T3, T9, and T0 were my weak points. I barely passed with an 82.9 if you'd like to review the questions that you missed you can click on yes or press enter and it'll take you back through those questions that you missed otherwise you can click on no or press in 
it'll go back to the main screen. Let's talk a minute about the history. We took that practice test so I can view history now that it says that on this date, uh, on sub-element 1, I got 5 out of 6 correct. Uh, that my composite score was 29 out of 35. It just kind of ke keeps you an ongoing running record of how you're doing in each one of the sub-elements on tests that you have taken. At any time you want to, you can click on History and click on Clear History and it will uh, clean out that file and start, start all over again with your history results.